Hello everybody. Hello tomato lovers, mozzarella cheese lovers. Um, hello to everybody that hates me doing these videos. I am going to make a tomato and mozzarella salad for you tonight. And um, we get started. First thing we're going to do is well, I'm going to tell you first about this cheese. This is mozzarella cheese, but it's burrata cheese. And it's actually got a soft shell on here. Um, I work my hands again. I have clean hands or happy hands. Um, this is like a creamy mozzarella cheese inside of a harder mozzarella cheese shell. And if I cut it open, you'll see that it's, it's almost like a creamy, almost like a cottage cheese inside. It's really good. Let me cut this one open. See what it's like inside. And that's uh, tastes really good. It's supposed to be, it is a really good taste. You should try it. We'll see what it does. First off, I'm going to take the tomato and I'm going to cut the oops, cut the little pour out of the top. These tomatoes are just barely ripe, so. There's one piece out. <laughs> I'm gonna cut the bottom off. This little, the little uh, stalk or whatever you want to call it. I don't know what it's called. Okay. And then I'm gonna slice this tomato into a couple pieces. One, two. take first off the bottom piece we're going to put a little bit of salt a little sea salt a little bit of pepper then we're going to take this cheese and we're going to put some of that on here spread it on there a little bit then we're going to take a little bit of basil Basil, basil, tomato, tomato, whatever you want to say. And then I'm going to put a little bit of olive oil on top of that. There we go. And then what we do is we stack the next piece of one. And do the same thing all over. Pepper. Salt. Uh, use the sea salt. A little heavier, a little thicker. Makes it, make you give it a little bit more of a taste to it. Put some more cheese on, uh, a little more basil, a couple of leaves, bing, 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 ding. And the next layer, I'll turn that one around. Next layer, same thing, salt. Trying to hurry up, we don't want to waste too much of your all's time. A little salt. Some more of this cheese. They say this cheese is so good that I think it's banned in 15 or 16 countries around the world. They don't let people eat it because they waste too much time eating their cheese. You should really try it. I had a napkin. I don't know where it went. It doesn't matter. Salt. Pepper. <laughs> Salt. Uh, a little bit of basil. Ding, ding, ding. Hey, I forgot to put olive oil on this one. Let me put some more olive oil on this one. I forgot. There we go. It says you can put as much olive oil as you want. They say you never get fat from eating olive oil. I don't know about that, but that's what they tell me. More olive oil on that one. And the next layer. Bing. Um, pepper. Salt. You really got to try this. I had my grandson here the other day. He tried a tomato, one of my tomatoes, for his first time. He didn't want to, but he, then he asked me to try it. He said he would try one. He told me it was disgusting. So, 
At least he tried. But these, whoops, there goes my, there goes my presentation. <laughs> ha. Let me get a little more cheese on here. On this piece, I'm running out. There we go. A little bit of that. A little more basil on this one. And then a little bit of olive oil. Come a little closer. I'm going to take a look at this. I'll put the top on it. Put the little finishing touch on the top. <laughs> and there it is. Tomato and mozzarella mess. Not really a mess. It's good. I'm going to try to show you what this thing looks like. In order to cut it, you really need to take that little top piece off. Kind of hold it with this fork. Try to do this without making a mess. And there's what it looks like inside. Isn't that pretty? <laughs> it's lovely. So all you have to do, chop it up one more time. And oops, that's all right. That's what you're gonna eat it anyway. And I'm gonna put a little more. There we go. Take a taste. It tastes really good. You should try it. Try this at home, or don't try this at home. If you're tired of this, you won't be tired much longer because I'm gonna be done. Thank you very much for all your time. I hope you enjoyed everything. See you next week.